Hi guys, and welcome back to another Acti video. I had a few of you guys comment on some of my videos talking about the headliner. Um, it's been missing for several months. I'm reluctant to put it back in the truck because it stinks, for one. And then for two, when I removed it out of the truck, some pieces broke off of it, so I can't put it back in as is. In this video today, we're gonna be giving it a little transformation. Let's see what, uh, let's see what becomes of this headliner. So, I've cleaned this thing with soap and water. I've cleaned it with bleach. Nothing's working. I'm gonna try this, some Lysol spray. Eliminates odors. We'll see about that. Hopefully that freaking helps, because like I said, that thing freaking stinks, boy, let me tell you. Okay, so the headliner has been sitting out for a little while. It does smell much better, so I'm gonna press forward. I have some fabric laid out on the ground. I'm gonna cut off a little bit more than I need, and then I'm gonna use some Gorilla Glue, spray it down, stick it on there, and then trim off the excess. Okay, so here's how the headliner is looking. There's obviously a few imperfections where I just didn't have enough glue, unfortunately, and so I wasn't able to get it like pulled as tight as I wanted. I'm not gonna worry about it for right now. While I'm at it, I am redoing the sun visors too. So I just go gave those a coat of paint. I actually had some leftover vinyl paint from when I did the door cards, and so that way the mounts aren't just like a weird tan amidst all the gray. I'm just going to use the same material for the visors, I think. Okay, so here's how the headliner's looking now. I got the sun visors redone, and I'm using my soldering iron. I'm going to put a hole in this subway handle. As I am going to get rid of the previous handle because it was kind of moldy and nasty, so not sure where I'm going to mount it yet. I just have my soldering iron set to a pretty high setting so that I can get through. Okay. There we go. This will pretty much be ready to go back in the truck. That was such a pain in the butt. I finally got it secured. Dude, my arms are fried from that. That sucked. Ow. So now we've moved on to tucking the sides. So I peel down this weather strip and I'm gonna tuck it back in. Um, and then that should help hold it in place. Peeling this weather strip back here and tucking the headliner so I've got a little bit of ways to go on this upper rim here. And then we'll mount the, uh, the mirror. 
Okay, so we got the mirror back on. We got the weather stripping tucked in. And uh, now we got to put our panorama mirror, stick that back on. If you guys saw OG, my first video of the mini truck, you would have seen this. Oh, hello. Okay, so next we need to get the sun visors back in. I bought some new hardware at Lowe's. <sighs> yeah, here's the size if you want to replace the bolts uh, to the sun visors. I ended up replacing them because mine were pretty rusty, so. All right, got one sun visor in. It's time to do the next side. And boy, what a transformation these make. I mean, if you guys saw the original uh, sun visors from my very first video, they were so moldy, so nasty, ugh, just gross. So yeah, while these may not be the most professional job, I consider it a massive upgrade considering what was stock in here was so old, crusty, dusty, nasty. So, this is a huge improvement. Okay, so I was going to mount the subway handle up there. But for whatever reason, I think that might be stripped. It's just not working. And then I think it would look kind of odd here. And it would just kind of be in the passenger's way, like when they step inside of the truck. So I'm thinking about drilling a hole and mounting it here. hold pretty well then. Obviously, wouldn't put your whole body weight on it, but... Alright. Alright, that was looking so much better. I'm happy with that. Alright, so the headliner is done. It looks really good. Um, it looks so much better than what it did before, so I'm really happy with the results. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. In future videos, I'm going to try and focus on more of the mechanical issues with the truck as opposed to doing anything, any more cosmetic stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.